Welcome to Didi Says Let's Talk. This is going to be one of my favorite show because we're going to discuss some of my favorite things. How lucky am I? Welcome back to Didi Says Let's Talk. We're talking with Anu now and we're going to enjoy a beautiful plate of chat. And she's going to talk to me about how I could possibly enjoy chat with wine. Absolutely. And there is a way. And a Viognier is just, it smells like perfume. Can it smell so, it? yeah, absolutely. It's going to be hard to stop smelling it. Oh my God. So it's fragrant. Really nice. Yeah. I know. I think you're your onto food. something. Thank <laughs> you. I love this pairing. So, Anu, thank you. This is really a pleasure. Now we're going to get to learn how to make warm jalebis in your own home. Is there anything better than that? Now, how do you know when your dough is ready? It'll form a ribbon. Okay, so what it looks like to me is a, it's a little elastic. Yes. Like it doesn't it doesn't just clump down. It's like almost has a little resistance. Yes, and it falls without breaking. Oh, that's that's cool. Thanks. <laughs> so, did you eat jalebis growing up? Yes, I used to play hockey in college, and after the practices, the famous breakfast was hot jalebis and a glass of hot milk. Oh my gosh, that sounds so great. And that's my favorite you know, memory of jalebis. Can I try uh, one? Sure. sure. Okay, so start with a big circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, mine is not so round. That's, that's, oh my gosh, I have a heavy hand too. It's really big. Well, you need to eat only one. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. My favorite part of that interview and talking to the women was talking about the food from childhood. Because when people talk about their memories of food, their face lights up Absolutely. and it's like they're transported back in time. So quickly. Tell us, do you have a favorite childhood memory of food? I remember my mom making uh, spinach paneer from scratch. I want to thank you so much for this wonderful experience of tasting shot with wine. And I never knew I could like white wine, so thank you so much. You're and we especially want to thank the wonderful women of Baton Rouge for the gift that they've given their community by raising over $80,000 from the sale of their cookbook and giving it to the local Battered Women's Shelter. This is Didi from Didi Says Less Talk.